What is up, YouTube? It's been a little while since I played Breach Wanderers, since the last time I recorded, basically. Lucky Charm, so we get to reroll an extra time, and I get to start with Deadly Stinger, Frail and Bleed 10 active item. We are going Merly, level 6, quick play, depth 3, with the hope that I get level 7 unlocked and then I can build an actual deck. Try to. That's the plan. We get to choose a car. Card. <laughs> Summon one angry spirit. Mm. It's kind of tempting. Oh, six. Why does this one cost so much? One of these seems significantly better than the other two spirit cards. Agonizing blades. Give any enemy burn six week two. Again, a six cost. Eight damage to any enemy. We'll do this one. Choose another. Three mighty, one vulnerable. That's not bad. Draw three if your last card played this turn was a spell. I don't even know what... Okay, we have a jolt. That's because I added it. Um... Doesn't seem great. Apply 12 shock to any enemy. Give it frostbite too. I lean towards enrage. I don't think it's fantastic, but it's okay. Hmm. That one's insanely good. And I get to remove two cards. I'm trying to remember how to play this one. Preparations... The smoke bomb costs one now, but it also draws one. I don't know. <laughs> there was some change there. Backstab, I know people think is good. Is it slash and cleaving? Oh, it's probably black, even though I don't think black is terrible. I'm trying for evasion more and for staying hidden. Yeah, I think it's slash and block. That's it. Continue. We're looking for these over these. I think? Yeah. Beyond that, mana dance is good. Swift strike. I do like impale. I don't care too much about this, but maybe it's good. Especially on... A high damage champion. It could be good. Eh. Alright. I think we're going this route through the question mark, probably. Fight! Hmm. Gain more mana if hidden. Do I copy this backstab? <clears throat> I mean, I have a good amount of mana. I can use it once. Use it twice. Smoke bomb. Use it a third time and almost kill one of these. I won't be hidden, but I think it's worth it. Oh no, it's of two cards. I still think it's worth using. Yeah, that works. Oh, 20 damage, I forgot about crits. Wait, we get to draw a card. Gaining vulnerable would be kind of bad. I think it's worth it to jolt that one for sure. You're... Yeah, I might as well do it. Does mighty help? No. So, he should go up to seven times two. Six times two. 
Okay. About 30% damage off of five. Yeah, I guess I could see that going either way. I don't know. Create two smoke bombs. This costs a little bit of mana. Gain critical. Critical is 50% chance. Lots of backstabs. So that should kill. Lacerating Stripe. Give vulnerable two, which is not insignificant, to the first enemy and deal four times two damage to it. I thought this used to do vulnerable to the first two enemies. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Deal two to five damage at random to all enemies. I like this one. And it's a spell, but I think I go with this one. I think scattering beam might be good. No hidden this turn. I don't want to copy a card. Could do this. Get to full block. That was a lot of damage. Neither of these gain shields or heal, so the frail doesn't matter. Oh, has he gained shields? Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. As usual. I might copy... Yeah, give me another jolt. Doesn't help that I'm weak, though. Now I can play all of the shat the smoke bombs. I'd like to do this first. To any enemy. 21 damage, because he's vulnerable. Neither of them are attacking me. Okay. So I do decent damage. No real defense. Increasing. I do like a cult reach a little bit. This one, though, is big damage. All right. Poison applied by strike hits plus two. Do I have good strikes? Does this count twice or just once? I do have a lot of strikes. Starting evasion. I do like evasion. I like both of these. All right, let's fight. Getting both preparations isn't the best. Hmm. This thing's going to get a bunch of evades. Let's see what card I draw. Hmm. I could copy. Oh, they're both gaining shields, too, so I can definitely do Frail. I just don't know how many smoke bombs I really need. Let's just do these two and assume that's plenty of smoke bombs. I think this is the scarier enemy. 
backstab's pretty nice here. Enrage is fine. Vulnerable drops off, mighty stays. Okay. Mighty punch is pretty insane. This card, if I can get a source of lightning, this is really good. Lightning strike is so strong with critical and with lightning, but this card gives defense and it's really cheap. If I had sources of lightning, that would be a tougher call. Is cleaving strike on the cutting board yet? Is jolt on the cutting board? Um, I think it's between those two. Jolt is cheap. Cleaving strike is not. For a card that expensive, I want it to be better. Adept. Adept is not great. Critical to 12. Well, I guess we'll just see what I get, what I get offered. Ooh, I do like this one a bit. Maybe. I don't know. I have to think about that. I have a good amount of mana. I think, again, I just copy one smoke bomb, one jolt. Trying to think what other things I could get. I could get vulnerable onto him. Let's see what we mighty punch. Okay, 40 damage. Ah, I could get vulnerable still. How much does that vulnerable card cost to play? Two. I wouldn't be able to get back. I don't think it's worth it. into hidden so right now I can get back into hidden there it is okay back out of hidden I'm shocked I'm 22 where's my evasion card Right there. <laughs> Can't take the vulnerable right now. Oh, I can. I have evasion. Okay. I'm not hidden, though. Is it even worth... Yes, it is. This thing doesn't have that much HP. Neither of those were crits. Bad luck. Shocked, but that's okay, because my evasion goes up. I wonder if this upgrades to be two evasion. That seems like it would be a little bit too strong. I have three mana. I need to play this, I think. That hurts. Yeah, I think I need the evasion. So there go all of my damage cards. Hey, I evaded that without using... No, I might have... No, I've used two stacks now, so that did get used up. Okay. This is a little bit scary. You have vulnerable. And crit. So this is a big hit. I don't have much mana, though. That doesn't help. Still doesn't really help, but decent chance I evade. Okay, we evaded them all. 42 damage. That's doable. And we got more evasion. We 
guess I already have critical. I should have just tried drawing cards, probably. Save the little bit of mana. We'll just kill this right now. It healed a little. Whoa! Oh, frenzy! Right. Okay. That was my bad. Okay. Critical deal 2. Deal 12 damage to any enemy. Apply 12 shock to it. Shuffle two shock spasms into your deck. That's not bad. For three cost, draw one exhaustion, transform up to two exhaustion to hero's resolve. Not good right now. Gain critical three, lethal three, if this is the last card in your hand, and then deal five times two. It's between these two. That lethal is really nice. It's always shock. I'm going to take this one. Curse applied by strikes plus one. Strike damage plus one. Max shield. That's okay. We're going to try and evade maybe. This one's okay. Upgrade two cards. What is your upgrade? No. Decent, but no. Does double damage. What is yours? 15 damage, 15 shock, and only one shock spasm. That's probably getting an upgrade. Hone becomes free. Mighty five, and it's free. That backstab damage is nice. Create four smoke bombs is pretty insane. I feel like it's backstab and frenzied, maybe. not frenzied all right and remove remove is tricky if I upgraded one of these I probably don't need to but I want to draw at least one of them kind of quickly could be the normal backstab could also be the jolt Because this gives curse, I think it's the jolt that gets removed. Without that, I would probably remove the backstab. Mana dance. Okay. 24 damage. They need to chill. Oh yeah, I have evasion though. Still. All right. don't have too much mana. I don't have a way into whatever it's called. Hidden. Darn. I'm trying to see, could I play two mighty punches? I don't think so. Do I need to? can't afford to play all that I would like. At least I killed that one. Be 
Evade, evade. They always come in pairs. At least it's coming with backstab. But I don't have a ton of mana. What do we draw? Pwn. No longer hidden. Stupid plated. <laughs> this worked out pretty poorly. Okay. Do I want to lose that shield? Not really. Shock spasms right now aren't the worst. I take more damage. Oh no, because I have evasion up. can't afford oh I can um yeah I can use the critical did the shield get reduced even though I evaded I think so but I wasn't paying attention yeah I do want to remove that Draw something useful. Not the most useful. Oh, okay. Right. Damage. Deal eight damage to any enemy. Increase the damage of the top spell on your deck or er, discard pile. <laughs> deck or discard pile by 20%. Ten shield mana boost too. Hardened Shell's okay. Tempted to re-roll, but why? It's not a great card to re-roll. I guess I could have taken the other question mark, too. I like max mana. I could have taken this question, but then I wouldn't get to fight this one. That's what I want. Do I duplicate? No, because I don't have mana. Unless I draw into mana. There's so many cards that I want to play right now. So I want, at the very least, to hone... ...and a swift strike. I want a lacerating strike too. So it's probably hone, lacerating, backstab. Forty two damage. I could smoke bomb mighty punch. really hoping for a mana card right there. I wanted to kill this before that evasion went up. Okay, well at least I have lots of mana. To the first enemy. Wonderful. These are multi-hits. So I don't want to be vulnerable. Why didn't I already use this? Use it now. Bleed. Right. Good job, evasion. Two HP. And I can't hit it. I mean, I can, but I gotta use both of these. I 
don't want to use both of these. Okay, I don't have bleed or anything. It already has enough curse to kill it. It has so much curse. ever get to kill here. No. Like if I drew mighty punch, how much damage would it be doing? Not enough. We do have vulnerable. Still not enough. Lose two tough. If you do, gain plated one. That doesn't work. Heal three. Give yourself and all allies purity one, mighty two, critical two. That's pretty nice. Corrupt one, the first enemy deals seven times two damage to it. So two times seven damage to it. Give it curse one. This corrupt is pretty nice, especially when I already apply curses for free but purity I have to take. Random fixed damage on card discarded two. Discard three if you do draw five. I think it might just be the heal. Do I ever heal here? No. What are you cookie monster thing? Oh, you're this. This thing could die on turn one. It really could. Let's just fight it. 78 HP. It would take a lot of luck. This isn't the amount of luck that I needed, because I needed to be hidden at the very least. With hidden, I could have got it right now. Critical. Frenzy for the shock. And then backstab for big damage. Oh no, because this hits the first enemy. These worth doubling. Yes. Good hit. Oh god, I have so many shock spasms over there. Things I did not think through. Doesn't he normally gain a whole bunch of armor there? Am I crazy? I might be crazy. Yeah, I do want to play that war cry. Which is good, because that's like all that I get to play. 
Block the debuff. Alright. I don't have enough... I do have enough mana. What am I saying? Six poison. Hmm. Hey, nice crit. <laughs> Will this kill? All right, benevolent idol. Unplayable, gain five shield and two heal. Play this when you draw or discard it. Do like that, but increasing mana is insane. Yeah, this is the card to take for sure. But Benevolent Idol would be worth considering as well. Yeah, that's a good upgrade. If I didn't have Warcry, I'd be tempted to get Hone up, maybe. Maybe. I do have Warcry for Mighty now, but this one's really good. Can I get rid of a mana shield yet? Is it just backstab? Is it hard shell? It's none of this top row. Well, except for it could be mana shield. This card could replace both of these. <laughs> that plated can be nice, especially if I get in power, the chances are low, but... Goodbye. If I get in power, we'll just increase the amount of evasion that I have. I still really like this card. This one's okay too. No, that's this turn. Never mind. This one's okay. Now that I got increasing mana. And I think I like this one more. Um, maybe not. No, I like this one more. Not that I have shock stuff, but this is a character that I would like to get shock cards. What about you? No. No. I think I just go left. You? Bloody Rage is kind of tempting. Oh, also, should I split this up or make it one video? I guess I'll make it one video. All right, so let's just go. You're what we're fighting. I have evasion too. Do I play this? Probably. Um... I don't have a way into... what's it called? No, I don't play it. Frail won't affect this one getting his plated. Next turn, I think he gets... I don't know. He might get some shield this turn, too. I 
get mighty. I get to play everything, but I don't think backstab's worth playing. I really needed a crit there. This way. Do have one mighty. Five attacks of two. Frenzy. The big problem is I don't have much mana. There is increasing mana though. So now I want to draw back to increasing mana as quick as I can a lot of these times. There's a lacerating strike over there. Is that worth leaving hidden over? I don't think it is. I didn't think the plated was going to reduce its damage that much. The vulnerable for next turn with a backstab, but backstab only really works with smoke bomb. I think I'm good as is. Mighty and vulnerable. I'll take it. Oh, I had the thing. <laughs> Purity. Nice. And we evaded all of those. Okay, the backstab was what I was counting on. Do want to draw back around to increasing mana. Or just to shock spasms. Hey. I'll take it. Curse plus evasion, arcane leak with no purity. And you're doing 10 arcane to me. I don't have much mana. I'm not hidden. I can get critical. I already have critical. I can put vulnerable. It would be three cards to do a lot of damage. But not enough damage to kill. Do it. it. Was enough to kill. I am bad at figuring out if it's enough to kill or not. Okay. If you are hidden, draw two. Gain hidden when discarded. I do need other ways into hidden. More shadow focus is also okay. Gathering bolts, okay, because I have increasing mana. Critical damage and critical chance, I could take that. Not great. I could war cry twice. That's not bad. And swift strike twice. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It's not ideal. But it'll work. And it did decent damage since I got those in before the tough and the plated. Okay. This sucks. If I evade those, I still take the arcane, which will eat a purity. Enrage will eat a purity. I don't need to enrage. That 
sucks. Thirty five damage. Thirty five damage plus the curse is really nice. That evaded a whole bunch, and I still have one stack of evasion. Very nice. I don't have much mana. Seventy one damage. I could do that. Mighty Punch is an okay card. Powerful 2 this turn, deal 7 damage to the first enemy, give curse 1. Arcane. 8 damage to any enemy, trigger its burn 2 times. I could reroll. I have 4 rerolls. Just give me the card. I want that burning focus. Hmm. Hmm. I have evasion. But the curse is really nice. Critical doesn't help a whole lot. I can't copy a mana card, but now I have a lot more mana. Still not really worth copying these. The powerful does give more shock. To any enemy. First enemy. Hmm. What other cards do I have coming up that let me attack not just the first enemy? <laughs> Nothing. They're all first enemies. Oh. That was a big hit. It's gaining more evasion. Oh, a previous fight. I was wondering why one didn't gain shield. Maybe the curse took it away, because this one gained shield and then the curse took it away. I don't know. I don't remember which fight it was at this point. I do have Warcry and Rage, but I'm about to get Arcane. But it's not taking away much. Tough calls. Mighty for days. Maybe I should have copied some cards there. I don't think so. I'm low on mana. That burn is a pain. That arcane's a pain. Everything is just pain. Pain and suffering. Yeah, I do have mana shield. Draw a card first. Wonderful. 
Ooh, that does damage, but the evasion. Right. There's a chance that would have been a multi-strike. That's a multi-strike, and it gives evasion and curse. Okay, let's just evade a whole bunch. Not great. We have arcane leak. 21 damage. That arcane's coming no matter what. Can't afford war cry. I can't vulnerable myself. I am hurting right now. Really badly. I still have evasion. have to pop that evasion and kill it but then I lose my hidden it's fine take a whole bunch of damage okay this is really bad all right I have mana though I get a little bit more mana you're doing 10 damage don't have any block. This flame is doing five. I think I lose right here. Oh, and this drake has five stacks of evasion. What am I talking about? I was, was thinking I can get the damage to kill that, but I can't really. Ten arcane. can get rid of this thing's arcane rune but that doesn't solve my problem draw one mana if I had a mana card that could do something for me it's not it you got three curse at least and we die but hopefully we get to level seven I'm glad I didn't break this up into multiple videos We began the run with Scroll of Blood. Get a card... Okay, so we get two card rewards. Altar Fire would be proud. We're doing Depth 1. Equip the item. Except those were good items. I will do 10 plus damage with a card a lot, but I like this wits. Mana was a problem. Wait, still another card? Oh, I had an extra card choice. Gain three mana, discard one. Not bad. Vulnerable two to the first enemy, deal ten damage to it. Hmm. Expensive. I don't have vulnerable yet. Let's take it. No! No! The block moved! okay we're only playing act one how hard can this be that's the card that i would like fight visions of frost
Good hit. Backstab, backstab would have killed, no matter what. Corrupted Blast, give vulnerable two to the first two enemies. Okay, that's the one I guess I was thinking of. I do like that. Now I have two sources of vulnerable. What do you guys have? No. Not great. I already have mighty. I mean, I guess I might as well do this. Do it to that one. We'll just kill that front one. Although, I would want the frost resistance on this back one to be lower, so I did that wrong. That's pretty perfect. What am I doing? Having three shadow focuses feels pretty nice. I already have two sources of exhaustion. We're gonna pick up Mana Dance here. I do have to kill that pretty quick. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Maybe it will. Okay, that's a lot of mana. One HP, one evasion. Wonderful. It's okay. Maybe it was just do backstab there. I don't know. That kills. End of turn, evasion gained plus one. Yes. You don't even have to read the rest of it. Just... Evasion for days. Why did I set this to depth one? This feels pretty good right now. Good turn one damage. And I have evasion. Doom. Doom. Eleven HP, but it's gaining shield. I could see upgrading. No, it's probably mana dance. I don't even know what the upgrade is for this, but that's probably what it is. That's not enough to kill. I already have the critical. I guess I get to play them all anyways. Tons of evasion. to decide which backstab to use there. Very difficult decision. Deal 12 damage to any enemy. Give it arcane weakness 1. No. Increase the damage of the top spell on your deck or discard pile by 3% for every rank of curse among all enemies. Give curse 2 to all enemies. 
Ooh, three times three to the first enemy if this kills. Gain frenzy one. Yeah, I can take that. It's not the best for Act 3 boss, but we're not going to Act 3. I should have looked at what enemy it is, but... I don't really care. I don't need shield. We have evasion. Escalating onslaught could be good. Oh, flash bond could be okay too. And just having four enemies like this with that card that gives frenzy. Plus this. Giving them vulnerable first would have been nice, but it's okay. Oh no, vulnerable doesn't... No, it does apply to damage. I still think it's worth just playing that now. But we'll see. Okay. That's pretty nice. Why do I think that was doing damage to them? I misread something. Should have played this first. Definitely should have played that before playing the card that makes me hidden. Um, don't want you to gain powerful. Good evasion. That's pretty nice. Use more mana. Mana dance. Evasion went away. Okay. Shocking Aura. Apply four shock to yourself, six shock to all enemies. Give shock barrier two to yourself and allies. Wonder what this upgrades to be. I think that's the card that I want. It is. Feel right. Or whatever that one is. Could have re-rolled, so I'm not going to use the re-roll. Maybe I'll use it here to get mana dance again. Although mana is not my problem. Seven damage to burning enemies. I have to actually read things. I can't make them burn. Okay. Could draw into vulnerable. It's not going to happen. Darn. Okay. End the turn. Good evasions. Lots of evasion. And dead. I did have that too. Create one treasure. Increase this value by one. Oh my on mana. I'm okay. Mana boost two. Arcane rune three to yourself and allies. Huh. This is a damage card. I 
I guess we rest. I'll take it. Rest. Um, that is supplied by runes. Didn't I just get a rune? No. Shock barrier. Um, can I freeze enemies? <laughs> I'm mixing. I can freeze enemies. We'll take it. Wits is not the best in this case. I think I already have something that gives wits. I could remove, but I don't want to think about it. Starting adept. If this was going to depth 3, I would not have made that trade. But it's not going to depth 3. thought that would freeze that. Should have hovered it. Get my frenzy. No, that it's only if I kill it with the thing. It's okay. I have tons of evasion. Lust for blood. 16 damage. It's not enough. Fifty percent chance. Only one of these has to crit. Yeah, cause my crits do extra damage. More than one of those crit. Maybe it was two that needed to crit. I get more evasion. And my arcane dropped off. Not hidden. Get level 7. New passive. You can evade statuses while hidden. Okay. That is cool. That's nice because my Aether does nothing now. Max health by 20. Oh, I should have looked at... I'm not doing much for quests. Evade I should be doing. Draw and discard could happen deal damage with curse black damage i'm planning on playing another merly so okay all right so yeah just over an hour long we'll take it what else can i do that's it all right that does it for this video i'm going to look at creating a deck for Merly and play that. So then I'll start working on the next video now. All right, thanks for watching.